to carry on our inspirational story series, this morning we are joined by Aussie entrepreneur, motivational speaker and coach who has inspired over 120 million views worldwide on his number one motivational website, Addicted to Success. Welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Joel Brown. Yes, welcome. Yay. Good to have you here, Joel. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. So, 120 million views worldwide, that is phenomenal. Oh. Tell us a little bit about the site. Yeah, you know, I wanted to create a hub for entrepreneurs, for those that were uh, aspiring for more success, more fulfillment in their life. And I created this about six and a half years ago. And you know, 120 million views in six and a half years. I think there's really a formula behind inspiration. People want to feel inspired. And how did you get inspired to actually do it in the first place? What were you doing? And did you have an epiphany moment? Yeah, yeah, I could pinpoint it, right? What it was, was I was working for a sales company in Perth, Western Australia. Uh, where I'm originally from, and I was in the room with a guy by the name of Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, right. Not Leonardo yes. DiCaprio, the original <laughs> Wolf of Wall wow. Street. And he challenged me on the spot to write out my 10-year vision, to cast my 10-year vision. And I always had this thing where I attached the meaning of writing things down to school. I hated school. I'm a high school dropout. I dropped out of year 11 and you know, pursued the things that I wanted to in life. And I was just uh, so detached to the idea of writing things down, I just wanted to wing it. But he really challenged me to write it out and to map out what my 10 years would look like if I had a limitless vision of my future. And, and so I wrote that out. And in that dream and that vision there was the, the idea to uh, create a website, a hub for people that are aspiring for more in life. So how do you come up though with that 10 year plan? Because when you try and do that, yeah. it's actually really difficult to think that far ahead. Well, here's the thing. So you start with the 10 years and you, you think big, right? Limitless, anything's possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you work back. So this whole idea of reverse engineering is different. It shifts your perspective. A lot of people think from the place that they're currently in, and it makes it hard to think like that if you're just trying to move forward. Mm. So this way really shifts things in you and it really challenges you to think from a place of anything's possible. When you reverse engineer it, what did you have to do in that ninth year to get to your 10th, the eight to get to the ninth, and so on until you get back to this very current day and then uh, craft your everyday steps around that. You know, your vision disciplines you. It chooses your friends for you. It teaches you what to say yes to and what to say no to. You know, I've turned down opportunities because they, didn't, they weren't congruent with who I truly am here to be in this world. Wow. So it's the power of a vision. Speaking of those opportunities, you've had multi-million dollar offers you know, to buy oh. your side, so clearly you're loaded. Um, <laughs> but you know, for a lot of people that would be success, but you keep going. So what is your definition of success? Great question. I think my definition of success changes. I'm sure that everyone that's listening to this right now can relate. Uh, it's subjective depends on where you are in your life and what you see as fulfilling for you. It's heavily based around your values. For me, I believe it's based heavily off how much I can contribute and how much I can grow as a human being. Right? I believe I'm living in my purpose now. I've really narrowed down on what it is that I'm here to do. And so if I come from a place of constant growth and constant contribution, then I'm living in my version of success. And you've appeared in a doco alongside the Dalai Lama and also Tony Robbins. What is it like mm. when you're put in that company? Well, this is interesting too because I cast it in my 10-year vision six and a half years ago. I wrote down that I wanted to work with Tony Robbins. Wow. Since then, I've interviewed Tony. I've met him on set. We're in a movie together. I wasn't very specific. See, a lot of people talk about the law of attraction. Okay, I'm not such a big fan on that. I'm, I'm big on the law of intention. It's like writing it down, mapping mm. it out, taking the steps that are required to get you to where you need to be. Uh, and so I had this opportunity to meet Tony and he is everything that you see on TV and in his infomercial products. He, he's you know, living the way that he uh, shares his message. He's very congruent with his message and I think that that's what we should all strive mm. for. And you're also looking with Addicted to, uh, to Success to give back a bit to the community as well. Totally, yeah. How's yeah. that working? It's great, you know, this is the power of a community. When you build a, a brand that has this magnetism to it, I feel like you have a responsibility. Like, mm -hmm. I really have this obligation to give back. You know, what's success if you can't actually share some value within that too? You know, that's not fulfillment. I'm always going for fulfillment. How can I get that thing that I've always wanted, but also show other people how they can do it too? And so what we did with Addicted to Success is, uh, in the space of two and a half weeks, I shot literally three videos on my Facebook and you know my Instagram and Twitter and shared it out and said, guys, I found a for-purpose organization called 
Pencils of Promise. All right, let's get into this. Let's raise some money to build a school for children living in poverty. In two and a half weeks, we raised over 52,000 US dollars to build a, a school for these children living in poverty. Wow. And, you, you know, yeah, you are doing incredible things at the moment. And quickly, because we are out of time, you're, you're in Auckland for an event and people can come along to that? Yeah, yeah, so I'm holding my event. It's called Millions Online, yep. how to build a million dollar brand that impacts millions of lives. And that's on the 13th and 14th of May. So the link should be up on here, I'd say. Awesome, yep. yeah. it will be. So well, you're nice. walking the walk and talking the talk. It's been an absolute pleasure having you in the studio. Thank you so much.